And as we move closer to Election Day, there are no shortage of claims about vote by mail and absentee ballots, and we are starting to see more questions about how elections offices make sure people aren't sending back multiple ballots. So let's verify. The question comes from Stephen, who writes, Krem and other local news stations report that mail-in ballots are being sent out to voters soon. They also state that if you don't get one in the mail, another will be sent to you. How does the election board verify that the voters didn't actually get the first absentee ballot before sending a new one? Or is there some way for the election board to verify that voters only vote once? To verify the answers to this question, I spoke with Spokane County Auditor Vicki Dalton and Chad Houck, Idaho's Chief Deputy Secretary of State. Let's start with Washington, a vote-by-mail state where every registered voter is automatically mailed a ballot. So every time we send a ballot out to the voter, that goes into the voter's record. So we know if we sent one ballot, two ballots, three ballots, and each one of those envelopes is it's indicated which sequence number that is. Dalton says it's the same process if a voter prints their ballot online. The county elections office knows when it's been printed, it's in the voter's record, and staff know which ballot that is when it comes back to the office. So there is a barcode on the envelope for the ballots that we send out from the office. And for those that are printed online, there's also an indicator on the oath page that tells us which ballot it is. So all of those ballots are tracked, and as soon as they come into the office, we run them through the scanner and we know immediately who the voter is and which ballot it is. But what about Idaho? It's not a vote by mail state. However, voters can request an absentee ballot be mailed to them. Elections officials say Idaho also closely tracks the ballots sent to voters. First on the outbound part of the process, when you request an absentee ballot here in Idaho, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check and see if you have any outstanding ballot requests already. Um, so if you were to request online and then submit a paper form as well to the county clerk, that online request is already going to be reflected in the state voter registration system as absentee ballots pending. Uh, so that paper request, it's not going to be accepted. And in the event a voter does get two ballots and tries to vote twice, which, by the way, is a felony, Houck says there's a process in place to make sure only one ballot is counted. If you were to, let's say, uh, in your home, you got two ballots, you decided you wanted to vote both of them, and you sign for both of them, only the first one that comes back of those two is actually going to be the one that is counted. So we can verify, yes, elections workers in Washington and Idaho have systems that track every ballot mailed to voters or printed online and that assure voters don't vote twice in the same election.